Hey guys, AJ here, back with another episode of the AJ Panel Podcast. I hope everyone had a good holiday. You're having a good holiday season. You guys have a safe new year. If you're going to go out tomorrow, we all know that there's going to be people out partying and stuff. And man, I want to see all you guys make it into the new year safe. So guys, uh, there's a couple of us on the panel today and we are going to talk about single moms. And we're also going to talk about uh fatherhood and how a lot of younger guys you know don't want to be fathers anymore but first um you guys know know me i'm i'm aj you know this is my channel i talk about men men men's rights men's empowerment and yeah uh everyone else on the panel uh say who you are and, and talk a little bit about yourself this is doug npa i've been on here a couple different times i really enjoy being here 41 years old no kids out here on these streets, I'm an advocate for men, so I really like participating in these conversations, uh, and I'm excited to talk about this topic because I have a lot of opinion on single mothers. Let's go. Uh, this is Heisenberg. Um, I previously went by Raymond. Um, I'm a local actor in the DMV, and I'm also an advocate behind men's rights. All right. So, guys... Today, we are talking about single moms, guys. And I think that we can all unilaterally say that we are all against dating single moms, correct? Mm. Yes. And I would absolutely. So, so in saying that, people might ask, oh, yeah, well, you know, AJ, you hate single moms. And it's like, no, single moms can, we live in a free society. You can do whatever you want, but people don't have to deal with it. Right. And guys, this channel is basically letting you know what options that you have as a man and the best information so that you can make the best decisions for yourself moving forward. Because just like Doug MPA says, when men win, everyone wins. But when women win, no one wins. Or they, mm. or, or only women win. So you have to think about what you can, can control. Because you can step outside the house and get and get hit by a bus. But you that's beyond your control. But you can con- control how much stress, how much drama that you have in your life. And nothing adds more drama to your life as a man of any social economic status any color any creed any religion if you're black brown whatever then dating or marrying a single mom what do you guys think i yeah i would i would agree with that the the biggest one of the biggest mistakes you can make is putting your time and resources into another man's child but i would say don't play another man's safe game You get nothing out of it as a man. And the only thing that supports you, the only thing that supports a man dating a single mother is nothing tangible, nothing economically advantageous. It's all emotion. And the only reward that you're going to get is the reward that that you give to yourself, that you're helping somebody else, that that you're, or or you give into that female shame language of what a real man is. Mm. I, 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 I can't. Uh, yeah, there's no there's no benefit to a man to to date then, or marry a single mother. But let's not also forget that all in all, guys, we are animals, right? Mm-hmm. And no other a- mammal takes care of another mammal's children. Lions kill yeah. the new cubs. Even baboons and stuff take out the new cubs once they start smashing the females. And why is it that we're supposed to be held? to some standard and once again guys this has only been the last 40 years in the west you go to anywhere else in the world they don't do this you go to africa you go to the middle east you go to asia those men brazil south america america those men look at you and say i ain't taking care of no bastard children you know what i'm saying heisenberg what do you got to say man god god no, I actually I agree with everything that you just said. It's 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 not in a man's nature to want to take care of another man's kids. Mm-hmm. As a man, you have your responsibility. As a man, your job is to provide, be the provider, to be the head of the table. How can you be the head of the table while taking care of another man's kids? Because exactly. as a man, that is eventually that's, that's eventually your responsibility. 
mm-hmm. to reproduce and to be a father of yourself. Yep. So why is it my responsibility to do another man's job? That's facts. And here's another thing. Am I getting paid to take care of that other man's job? Am I getting anything from taking another man from taking another man's job besides I'll, screwing I'll it, his girl? I'll take it even further. The, the, the currency used to be, you know, up until the 70s that it, and even in, you know, um, in certain other parts of the world, the currency was society would would hold you in reverence. Your, yeah. your immediate family, the, the people in your network. And even if it got out that you took, took a, a widow who had children or whatever, they would treat you with respect and reverence. But all that is gone. But now, now, now they now, think you, you're a simp. Or a sucker. Yep. 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 Or a joke. You're, you're a lick. You're a mark. You've been had. You know what I mean? And here's the thing, too. Men, we are all cost benefit analysts, right? We look at the cost mm-hmm. and then the benefit. And the thing is, single moms, there there is no benefit that can outweigh the cost. But guys, I have two clips here. So let's just watch, we'll watch these. These are uh this is on insulin audits channel, guys. Check him out. But let's just check this out real, real, real fast because we can transition into the whole dating scene for single moms. And single moms, everyone thinks that, oh, I can smash these single moms because they're easy. And yes, a lot of them might be easy because they're desperate. So you have two types. You have the the desperate ones who want to trap you and put the B on you real, 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 real good. And then you got the completely unaware type that are still trying to date like they don't have have any kids we have two examples of that now let's check out this first one guys and let me know what you think this type is i'm gonna cry i've just realized that i have become a single 30 year old mom who's driving in a dodge caravan checking out other men while driving in a subdivision a suburban subdivision. I am a single 30 year old woman with three children driving a minivan checking out other dads. Okay, this is where my life is. This is this is what's happening. Cool, 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 cool. Gee, when people actually cry, <laughs> can I first say that, that that Nicholas Cage in there? <laughs> can I first say that that TikTok is the devil, dude? Like, w- w- what do they always say? If a woman, the only time women's tears are genuine is when she's crying by herself. If she's crying in public or she's crying on social media, it's for some kind of ulterior motive or or attention. And, and so when I see, I mean, I don't doubt that she's having this type of realization, but it's just a shame that she had to put it all on social media for, for some, some kind of sympathy like that. It makes me sick. Yeah, it's sad. It is all for clout. It's all for clicks. You know what I'm saying? But these are the types of women. This is type one, guys. This is a type to where all she hangs around with all day is other moms or her little rug rats, right? So she's aching for that adult male attention so the moment that she gets any type of attention she is gonna latch on onto you and of course she's gonna want to try and lull you in and oh i'll cook i'll clean or whatever because i'm desperate right but then she's gonna want to uh all of a sudden you guys are boyfriend girlfriend all of a sudden she says you got to pick my kids up all this all this stuff you know what i'm saying you're the father figure because she's desperate right and these are the type Honestly, you got to watch out for more than the second type because the second type is so unaware and arrogant that you just kind of don't deal with her because you know she's cray crazy. This type is going to overcompensate and try and get you there. And guys, if you are going to smash a single mom, always use a condom, always, because you know what she's going to do if she gets preg- preg- pregnant. There's not going to be a, an abortion there. It's just not. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yep. If she had one dude's kid, she's gonna have another person. Or in this yeah, case, she had three. Too. She had three. Thirty, and she's three. Excuse me, she's thirty, and she has three kids. And she's single. I mean, come on, man, that's crazy. 
absolute and this is what's on the dating mar- mar- market and all these guys go all oh, all you manosphere guys blah 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 it's because we see the truth and only an idiot looks at real life beneficial information and just ignore nor nor it because i always say now so we're in the information age if you see this type of type of stuff and it doesn't click in your brain that you don't deal with single moms, this this is your own fault. Then you deserve to get got. You know what I'm saying? There's no re- reason, none, none at all. You guys, let's check check out uh, clip two here. Some men can't get past the fact that I have four kids, which Oof. is bull crap, to be honest. Because let's let's be just logical about this. I clearly am supporting them just fine on my own. So I don't need a provider. They don't need a father. So what's the hang up? Because my kids are going to grow and they're going to leave the house at some point. So these men are not dating me when I'm like in my prime because I have four kids. That's the thought process of these Canadian men up here. So yeah, I am legitimately single. I haven't been on a date in three years. Big surprise. Okay. No, guys? Okay, first <laughs> off, it, it, Canada <laughs> is is one of the most leftist liberal feminist havens on the planet. And even the guys up there are waking up. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I can't. And then, and then w- women like this. She, she said four kids, right? I just don't. What? I don't understand it. it. Oh, Hi, I, I, hey Heisenberg, man. She's on Tinder for you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's all yours, playboy. <laughs> it's just, I, I think uh, there's, there's a cultural shift. Once again, the days of guys that don't have children and the majority of black men have no children. Remember, yeah, they don't I, have I, kids. I, hmm? Yeah, I honestly believe this, that everything happens to the black community first. So in maybe 10 or 15 years, maybe 20 years, you're going to see that the, the majority of men aren't going to have children. That's facts. And, that, and, and that's never, and that's, you mean that the majority of men in the West? Because remember, mm-hmm. total throughout history, well, only 40 I'll say the, the United States at least. Yeah. Because most men in in history have not had kids, right? But in the West, that changed because of you know this this whole r- recent thing with monogamy in the last five hundred years or whatever. But my point is, is look at how unaware this woman is. She honestly cannot understand why a guy that's worth his salt wouldn't date her. She honestly, she's looking everywhere but inward. And thinking that it's all men's fault. It's all Jermaine's fault. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. Guys, see, this is what I meant by this type is, is not as bad as the other type. Because this type, you can just tell from the jump, she's nuts. She's going to walk in. She's going to want you to wine and dine. You know, take her out. Take her, her kids out. Blah, blah, blah. And then make you wait, you know, some 90 days to smash. The other girl... She's so desperate, you can probably just, you know, look at her funny and smash. You know what I'm saying? But guys, don't... yeah, Yeah, but, but the problem with the first girl is she's going to be, because I, a lot of single mothers, they, they want to get right to it, and they, they don't want you to wrap it up. Don't fall for yep, it, guys. That's true. Don't that's fall true. for it, because all, one misfire, you know, and she's going to have kid number four off of you. Yep, that's true. And the thing... That a lot of people don't seem to understand is this, guys. This whole Brady Bunch of blended family crap, it doesn't work. Because let's just say that you meet a chick and she has two two kids and, and you're a dumbass and you and you date her, you marry her, and then and then you guys have a kid. That means that you know, two-thirds of every dollar that you spend has to be on her kids and not on yours. And then you can discipline your kid. Any way you want, but you have to ask her for permission to discipline those those kids so you're not even the man of your own house. And you don't think that these kids are going to not know that there's something going on there? 
It's crazy, crazy. And then having help if it's if the single mom has a daughter, and then all of a sudden you are trying to discipline her, and then she goes, "Oh, well, you know, Heisenberg looked at at me funny. He walked in on me in the shower, and or 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 he he touched me. Next thing you know, you're in jail." God, it's I'm just gonna, not, uh, not 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 worth the risk. Time. It's not story time. So I I remember. Uh, um, in the mid 2000s, one of the first jobs the jobs I, uh, I worked, um, I worked at a, a retail store, a home uh, improvement store. And this guy, he, he had owned a plumbing business, but he sold the plumbing business. He made pretty good money off of it, but he was just working full time at, at this home improvement store to have benefits. And then his um, his wife worked part time, but um, he had two sons with her and his wife had a daughter. The oldest was his stepdaughter from the, his wife's previous marriage. And he, he was telling me the story. He said, um, she had turned 15. She was a freshman in high school and she was seeing this guy that was a junior and he was a total piece of garbage. Cause remember guys, we, we can see. Um, oh, is this the one stuff? where his daughter said that he was a junior? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll get right now. Uh... What? Uh, so so yeah so just real quick so um she, he didn't want her to see him so she said you know uh, he literally blocking the door because he was like outside or something but she said i'm gonna call the police you know because the guy was a piece of garbage she said i'm gonna call the police on you he said look do, do what you gotta do but you ain't seeing him so she, she she made a call the police came and remember in a lot of states if there's a domestic call of any kind um someone has to go to jail so the police came, put put him in handcuffs. Now she is fifteen, so so she thought that he was just gonna get a stern talk with you, and the police were gonna be like, "She can go wherever she wants." No, he got he got thrown in jail. Now right when she saw the handcuffs being put on him, she's like, "You know, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you just oh." Uh, but basically, jail. she called the cops, and then like he went, to, he went to jail. So what happened after yeah. he went to jail? So so um he. He, he got bailed out, but he was the, the primary breadwinner. So he had to move into his his um, his um friend's basement. So he had to pay the mortgage on the house. And then he, he had to pay for this this room in his friend's basement. And, and he spent like $8,500 to $10,000 on court fees. Damn. And she was recanting her statement the whole time. But the, they had yeah. to do the whole process. Yeah. And for all and, you guys and, who, he's, who are listening, for all you guys who are listening, I made the video about the principal that that took the header off the parking garage at Disneyland, all because his wife called the cops. And this is in California. And for those guys who don't know, once they once someone calls the cops for DV, someone's going to jail, and then a whole system goes. It's a snowball. You have no control over it, even if the person that calls wants to take take it back there's no taking it back there's all these violence against women acts and all this other this stuff and the state takes care of, care of it and you're doomed basically is the moral of this story it's crazy yep 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 and and he said the only thing that good that came out of it was when everything was said and done and he can come back to the home she was a perfect angel after that well, I don't uh, left. First yes, time. sir. No, sir. All that stuff. I said, you stayed. He's like, well, I had a great responsibility. I said, it's a shame that you had to go through all that for, for, for her, for your stepdaughter to give you the basic dignity of being the man of your house. Uh, well, so once again, it ain't worth it, guys. It ain't well, worth it. Well, he's an idiot for even staying. Yep. Because I'd have just left, period. Because she's she's she sent you to jail once, and she'll send you to jail. Yeah, it's crazy. Cra- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take for guys to end up waking up and understanding. Guys, no one's coming to save you. The moment that, the, see, women can get up, uh, they get off on when stuff happens. Men don't. Something happens to us, we're absolute toast. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, like, I dated a single mom in grad school, and she had a young kid. And, you know, I went to her family reunion and then her kid's baby dad got in my face. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, who are you? Guys, there's just too many variables here that you just can't deal with if you're going to be successful. Heisenberg, you ever date any single moms? 
Actually, I have. There's a funny story to that. Um, I dated the general manager to a Chick Fil A <laughs> a few years back. Did you get free fries? And... <laughs> oh no, she she pulled she pulled a a little manipulation with me. She was like, "I'll bring you free food. You know, when I come over, I'll have the the house cleaned and everything, and all that crap." Um, and she had three kids. Oh, and, no. and she had beef with her baby daddy, and they were living together too. Oh, oh no. In his mama's house. Oh, oh man. Yeah. And um, luckily, I didn't smash because I, I just didn't feel comfortable with the fact that she was living with her baby daddy. Come to find out, she she had something. She caught something from him. Oh man, you you dodged Can those bullets a question? like like the Matrix, man. Mm-hmm. How did you meet her? Uh, through a local friend, mutual friend. Oh, whoa! It doesn't sound like a That's friend not a to friend me at all. Because <laughs> he, he was working at Chick Fil A at the time, oh, I hate that. and she told him that she was into me. So you kind of played the wing there. Man. That's, Bro, that, crazy. that's, that's wild, yeah, man. man. It, it, and, you, you know, gotta watch I'm out, not going to lie. Free, free, free Chick fil A would, would go a long way with me. The three kids <laughs> living with the baby daddy, dude, and she got a gift that keep on giving. Uh, yeah. I mean, Chick fil A is gonna be, good, but it ain't that good. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be a topic that I, I'm going to talk, talk about a lot on this channel. Because there's still these guys, these these simps who want to go out there and 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 be Captain Saver, you, you know what? And that's you don't get anything for it. You just don't. It's just a bad deal. So guys, um, I found an article here here today, and basically, second, it's basically saying that uh yeah, that a lot of guys are not wanting to be parents anymore yeah so here we go look at this sorry ladies the number of young men who want kids is on the decline and this was posted in the new york post um october 17 2020 and basically they did a a big 20 year longitudinal study and it's saying and more broadly men's the desire to have kids has significantly declined. Between 2012 and 2018, the percentage of childless men ages 15 to to 49 responding that they did not want children doubled from 9.9% to 20%. In addition, the number of men concerned with a parental leave policies and evaluating jobs decreased from 2005 to 2015. So basically, oh, wait, wait, wait. So I'm not a millennial, but I'm, Heisenberg, you, you are, right? You're you, you, you're in your late 20, 20s, correct? Yes, I'm a millennial. So uh, do you want to have kids one day? I do, but not anytime soon. Okay, and do most of your friends talk about one day that they're going to have kids? Yeah. Really? hmm Well, I am not having kids, and a lot of the guys that I talk to don't want to have, have, have any kids. I, I'm Generation X, so there's a mm-hmm. lot of childless guys that I know. And Yeah, I can of- say... I- I could bounce off that. So, you know, I'm part of a, a running group and a cycling group here in the DMV area. And there's a lot of us, you know, uh, 40 and 50 year old professional athletic black men w- with no kids, none, zero. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. I'm going to be right back. Yeah. And this is showing was a one in five men ch- between the ages of 15 and 49 that's that that's one in five that's crazy and when we always talk about oh 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 women are putting off childbirth and and not wanting to have have kids well guess what on the men's side 
It's the same way because women act like they're doing us a favor having kids. Well, guess what? A lot of guys don't want to have kids now. And they can live perfectly fine lives, <clears throat> hanging out, you know, having friends, having their 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 hunting dog, just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Having an Xbox, a couple of beers, you know what I'm saying? Or even if they are in rela- relationships, just not getting married and then not having kids. It's perfectly fine, you know? So kids, I've never wanted kids, ever. N- never even thought about it once. And now that I'm in my 40s, it's just something that I'm just glad that I didn't mess up, you know, get some chick pregnant or whatever and be dealing with the con- con- consequences. But guys, I can say this. If you look in the mirror and you ask yourself, do I want kids? Any answer other than a no is a yes. And I say that only because it's a small percentage of people that actually say no. And a lot of women say that they don't want kids, but they actually do. I would say 95% of all women want kids. And even if they say that they don't, there's that biological need slash biological clock that makes them want to have kids. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, you really need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, is having kids something that you want to do? And if it's not, guys, get the old snip snip. Get a sex well, I, and just be done with it. I'll, I'll put another spin on it. So, like me, the kids, you got to think about your, your destiny. You got to think about your life. Okay. When you start getting to your 40s, like your 30s are when the horror stories start. Okay. You start hearing guys that have just gotten, that have lost everything they have because the mother of their children, even if they're married or not, decided to leave. Women leave men 70 to 80% of them dead at the time. This is in marriage or relationships. And then 90% of the time, if they're college educated. Guys, look at your future. Okay. Would you jump out of a plane if your parachute had a 20% chance of opening? Okay. Because for me, you know, I was married before and like I, I intended on having children. And I'm glad that I didn't have children with my ex-wife. But even now, I you you have to think if things go south and you're part of the 80%. Who are seeing your children every other weekend? And you're paying child support. You have this woman controlling your life. Remember, we're men over here. You got to take accountability for where you end up. Are you willing to do with that? Because a new question that we're going to have to start asking is, once again, uh, you know, the Maryland lottery says, well, you, you you can't win if you don't play. Are there things that that you shouldn't even play because of the of the risk, the risk? The risk is too great. So once again, even if you do want to have kids, think about where you could end up. And do you even want to play that game in the first place? Yep. Because and, as- and who you're having kids with. And do you want to import yep. a more traditional w- woman who actually wants to be a, a be a mother and have, have kids and, and be a wife? Do you want to may- maybe date a girl who's from some uh, um, Midwestern state or the South? that might be more conservative and who has your values and is more about traditional gender roles. These are things you have to consider when you're having kids. And me, I look at the landscape and and the likelihood of finding a woman in the United States who will be traditional enough to have kids with. And guess what, guys? (laughs) It's not looking good. So I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not. It's just not worth it. You know, and that's yep. ultimately what we have to do as men is figure out what's best for us. And if that means that there's less kids, oh, well, that's not our problem. Guys, ask yourself as a man, is this my problem? Oftentimes the answer is no. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to piggyback off though. When you were younger, you had to make a, a T chart. You know, you, you put, you know, a, a, a vertical line, and then you put a horizontal line, and you have, you know, t- t- two sides of an issue, so like a pro and a con. You know what I'm saying? Y- you gotta 
make that T chart and put your problem on one side and not your problem on the other. That's true. <laughs> okay. And you got to constantly keep aware of what's on either side of that list. And society tries to get men to take responsibility for stuff that is not your problem. Once again, back to single mothers. Single mothers, their children are not your problem. They're just no, not. Not your problem. Sorry, no. guys. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. And any woman that has kids, she can be fine as fine can be. But if she can be a Ferrari with an accident on the Carfax, man. Every baby that a woman has is an accident on the Carfax. Would you drive a big body Benz with three accidents on the Carfax? Would you drive a Bentley SUV that had four accidents on the Carfax? No, you would not. So, all right, you guys, that's all I got to say. End of the year podcast here. I appreciate everyone's support. Anyone else have any clo- closing thoughts before we uh, close for the end of the year? Uh, I'm going to say th- thank you for having this panel. Oh, and AJ, uh, to all the listeners, AJ does a really good job about covering TikTok videos. I think that TikTok is a cesspool. So he puts up these really good compilations of TikTok videos about single women complaining. You, you are better than me, my friend, because <laughs> I, I can't. I, it's I, I, I won't touch it's TikTok real, real, real bad. with a, a 10 foot pole. Yeah. So. But, all right, you but guys. Thank you for the, the platform. I really appreciate it. No problem. And guys, check out Doug MPA's uh, channel. It's blowing up over there. He does a lot of good. And yeah, you guys have a good New Year's. Be safe. This is AJ, and I am out of here.